Hi there, this is Ranjit and welcome to Geeky Ranjit Explains. And in this episode, we're going to talk about some of the advanced topics with the Wi-Fi router. And uh, in the earlier episode, we talked about basics of Wi-Fi routers, the 2.4 gigahertz band, uh, 5 gigahertz band, A, B, G, and N. So if you haven't seen that video, you can check out this video. In this video, I'm going to cover some of the advanced topics like, uh, if you know this uh, Wi-Fi routers emit radio waves and it's uh, necessary that you encrypt those signals. Otherwise, anybody could tap into your Wi-Fi network and use your connection. Also, I'll talk about the uh, Wi-Fi channels and how you can improve the range if you live in an apartment where there might be a lot of Wi-Fi congestion. And I'll also talk about the Wi-Fi range and some of the myths and the speeds issues that you can have. We'll also talk about some of the advanced functionality in the routers like uh, we, I'll talk about Wi-Fi repeaters and also uh, some of the routers support the guest mode that thereby you can have actually two Wi-Fi networks. So let's first uh, let me talk about Wi-Fi security and how you can secure your Wi-Fi network. So let me first talk about Wi-Fi security. As I mentioned, uh, you need to secure your Wi-Fi network. Otherwise, anybody can tap into your network and use your connection. Uh, by default, uh, uh, you have actually a couple of nodes by which you can uh, do the uh, encryption. And in your Wi-Fi router, you will find an area uh, where to secure your Wi-Fi network. Uh, just look at it and uh, we need going to look at some of the different types of encryption that is offered. Uh, the lowest is WEP and I would say do not use this. This is highly insecure and can be cracked easily. Ideally, I would say look for WPA or the WPA2. Ideally, I would say go with WEP. Uh, PA2 and also in some of the advanced routers you might get a drop down connection when you select WPA or WPA2 like AES or TKPI. Some of you will, uh, some of the routers will allow you to set it as AES or AES plus TKIP. So, and I would say the strongest uh, is I actually use this one only WPA2 plus AES is the strongest but again uh, with this one some of the applications uh, might not run so if you have some uh, devices that are incompatible then you might have to use this option as WPA uh, plus AES slash PKIP this makes it actually a lot more compatible so if you have a Wi-Fi router Remember, it's your duty to secure your connection. The first thing that you should do after you after you configured your Wi-Fi uh, router is to secure it. And again, uh, you in the area that will ask you to enter a password, give a good password. I can't don't uh, write your name or stuff like that. Give a good eight character password and have some special character in that. For example, like this, like this tilde, so that your network is secure. Next, let me talk about Wi-Fi channels as I mentioned in the earlier video uh, the 2.4 gigahertz band is the most popular uh, in the routers for example the N150 and 300 based routers and uh, the problem is as I said if you're living in a urban area like a building or something they might be tons and tons of routers in your area and uh, they all emit radio waves and due to that they clash with each other and hence the range that you might get will be a little bit less but you can fix this by changing the channels you need to go to your routers admin page and most of them do support to change the channels and actually I'm going to show you that how you can do that you need to first uh, use a utility for example if you have an Android phone this is an Android phone and uh, actually uh, you will see this Wi-Fi analyzer this is a free software that you can download on your Android device and when you open it it will take a couple of seconds and now actually it's scanning all the Wi-Fi networks that are uh, around its, this area and if you notice it gives this uh, small let me zoom in this uh, at the below one two three four these are the actual channels and these are the networks Wi-Fi networks in those channels 
So you need to look at a channel which is actually not very crowded. For example, this is my uh, Wi-Fi network. It's on the channel number six, hence it's overlapping with these. Ideally, I would say uh, it looks like the seven, eight, nine, ten is not that crowded. So to get the best range, I should actually uh, would uh, change the my Wi-Fi channel to something like this. So you need to look at utilities like this to determine which channel is empty in your area and set your Wi-Fi network to actually uh, that channel. Hence, you can get a lot better Wi-Fi range and throughput with your network. The name of this app is uh, Wi-Fi Analyzer and you can download it for free from the Android uh, Play Store. Again, do select uh, a channel which is least congested so that you get better Wi-Fi range and throughput on your network. So that's Wi-Fi channels and it can dramatically improve the performance of a Wi-Fi network. And now let me talk about some of the myths about the Wi-Fi range offer and the speeds. Let me first talk about the speeds. For example, as I said in the earlier video, we have routers based on the N150, N300. And you might think, okay, it says uh, 150 megabits per second and you're going to get those speeds. But the reality is actually very different. In a real world scenario, uh, the speeds that you get, the best case scenario I'm talking is half the rated speed. For example, with this N150, the max speeds that I've seen are around 65 to 70 Mbps mark megabits per second. So again, you need to uh, keep this into account. And also one more thing that will affect your network Wi-Fi speeds is that uh, actually all the devices, for example, if you're using an N-based router to get the best speed, uh, all the devices that you're using, for example, tablets, smartphones, or whatever in the you know, Wi-Fi network, it should be uh, ideally N-based. If any of them are using the older standard, like let's say G, your entire Wi-Fi network speed will go down to G levels. This is how it works. So ideally, I would say uh, your router is default set to mixed mode. That means uh, it will support the N, B and G band. But if you are very sure that all your devices are N based compatible, I would say that set your Wi-Fi router to N only. I know this is not uh, the ideal thing if you have older devices, but again, do remember if you have older devices, your throughput of your entire Wi-Fi network will fall down to the uh, B or G levels. Now, let me also talk about some of the advanced features. For example, uh, guest mode, some of the routers, advanced routers do have a mode called guest mode in which actually you can set up one more. For example, let's say your primary Wi-Fi network that you have set up is, uh, let's say, RAN1 is my primary network and uh, my router does have this mode of guest mode thereby actually I can create another Wi-Fi network let's say that is RAN guest so actually now I have two Wi-Fi networks running with that router and when my guests come I can simply give them the password to this guest Wi-Fi network and they won't be able to look into my private network that is RAN1. So if you have uh, a mode like this in your router, it is ideal to enable it if you are getting a lot of guests. Actually, my router does support that and I use this guest mode. And whenever uh, some guests arrive, I give them the password for my guest network. Also, uh, regarding the uh, Wi-Fi range, I do get a lot of questions uh, about Wi-Fi range. And people ask me about routers, which routers can go up to 200 meters, 300 meters. And the fact is that consumer level routers cannot offer that range. And uh, in the box, they advertise uh, speeds up to 100 uh, meters, but these are ideal test conditions. Uh, again, that means 100 meters is approximately what? 3.3 uh, feet multiplied, it's about 330 feet. But realistically in an un urban environment, I've seen the Wi-Fi routers uh, range to max out around 120 feet again do remember that the range that you will get will depend upon the uh, construction of your house the number of walls that you have for example if you have a lot of walls doors etc the wi-fi penetration actually slows down uh, so again if you have a house that has a lot of walls 
definitely your Wi-Fi performance will go down and you might have to invest in a device like a Wi-Fi repeater which can extend the signal from let's say this area to this area. Uh, you can check out this video which I made for my other channel in which I talk about Wi-Fi repeaters and that gives you info about the Wi-Fi repeaters. But regarding the range, I would say ideally the best uh, speeds that you can get is up to about 25 feet in an urban environment you do get actually very good speeds with Wi-Fi and the further you go down the speeds uh, start to drop a little bit. I have seen that after 40 feet the speeds generally start to go down the hill and obviously at around 100 feet the speeds that I was getting with most of the routers is generally just around 5 megabits per second or something like that. So the further you go it goes down again uh, you might get a lot uh, what do you say higher range if your Wi-Fi router does not have any obstructions and there are no walls in between then in an open area yes it can go even up to 200 to 250 feet. So that's about Wi-Fi range again don't expect consumer level routers to go 300 meters or something like that so yes simply the signal level won't be that great and you won't get consistent speeds. So I hope you now have a better understanding about uh, Wi-Fi routers, security about it, you need to, oops, security, you need to secure your Wi-Fi connection, ideally I would say WPA2 plus AES encryption is the best, uh, about Wi-Fi channels and how to actually uh, locate the best uh, channel in your area using a free app like that what I showed and uh, also about guest mode and Wi-Fi repeaters. So again I'll be uh, taking up a next a new topic next week. Uh, I post new videos every Thursday on this Geeky Ranjit Explains channel. Do let me know uh, what kind of topic would you like uh, for next week. Again, thanks for watching this video. I hope uh, this video gave you a lot more info regarding Wi-Fi. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.